Yo. It's me. <laughs> We're back. Hey, winner. Ooh. Twitch recap 2023. Ooh. Huh, that's a new one. I don't think I'll be able to get that badge. I don't watch Twitch too often. But we're back! We got more Dead Space 2! We might finish the game today. Maybe. Depending on how long it takes me to get through the... final stretch of the game. Because I got the mines. And the government sector to get through. Because uh, last time we got through the Ishimura and used the gravity tethers to pull government sector back so that way Ellie and Strauss could get across uh, using the tram. Tram crashed. Um, Ellie quite possibly got her eye poked out with a screwdriver, of all things. Lovely. Uh, and uh, yeah. That was basically where we left off last time. So we're gonna see how things go. So we're gonna pause my tunes there. And we're gonna see. It's crazy to me that <laughs> I am playing through this game and I am still using the very first suit you get in the game it's, like it's, a, it's an oddity for me Also, do let me know how the uh, how the sound is. It's a little too quiet. It's your signature. Yeah, I like I like this suit. Uh, there's a good chance we'll be switching it up near near the end of the game, but uh, I like this suit. And uh, also, since we reloaded the save, the explosions aren't <laughs> the explosions aren't exploding over there on the sprawl. Okay. Just want to make sure it's loud enough. Okay, one power note. We got credits. Yep, we're pretty well stocked. My controller battery's so low. Huh, was there only two of them? Oh, nope, there it is. <laughs> it's like... Oh, nope. Oh, nice. Get closer, get closer, I dare you. Come on. 
Got him. said congrats I thought it was a trophy <laughs> no I just uh, had to replace some batteries oh hey oh, <laughs> oh hey oh there we go uh, let's pick up the ripper blades um, I don't need to pick up the med kit it's a, it's a small and I have two full ones so I'm pretty good there uh, unless we get uh, to a store right here, then we'll do a little inventory management. It's safe to say that Strauss has finally lost it. Boxes. Josh should try. Yeah. Every, everybody here could stand to take a take on a little hobby or activity. Uh, in addition to some obscene amounts of therapy. This is going to be like Sam blasting a soup cracker. Another stasis pack. Dang, the game just loves giving me these. So there's that one right across the way that you have to, you have to shoot. Or actually, I think. yeah, it's a power node. Again, I and I did see happen to see the one that you uh, happen to make on Instagram. That's a really, it's a really cute thing. Um, I wasn't really much. Oh, wasn't really one for paper craft back in the day, but uh, I think the stuff that you can make from it is really cute. Uh, 
assist around here somewhere. There it is. Oh yeah, now we get the... We got the gross... growth stuff all over the floors now. Which apparently, according to the lore, um, is actually very slick and slippery. It's kind of like, um, like algae in a pond. It's kind of like that. Thing. Now we're gonna do a little run back. We're gonna have to go and pick some stuff up that hasn't despawned already. I don't think it has. Yeah. You know, I thought that would have given me a bit more inventory space. But I guess picking up the contact energy, yeah, it would take up the slot because it's a different. It's a different ammo type. Of course it is. And you know what we're going to do? We're just going to move the contact energy into storage. And then we're going to go and pick up all that other stuff that we left behind. I zoned out there, we get another tiny gift. That was cool. It's alright. Doing a little something extracurricular while, while hanging out. It's all good. We'll take the small med pack, and we'll probably sell the small med pack. And I picked up everything else here, so. Okay, there wasn't a whole lot uh, left to pick up. Oh, in this. Oop. Alright, so 
this. trophy there, and we'll buy two power notes. <laughs> Gotta have at least a little money left so that way we can buy the next suit upgrade. Alright, now that we've done a save, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to swap the batteries out of my controller. Just give me one second. Okay. New batteries in the controller. And the old batteries are in the charger now. Let me get them all charged up. Can you play the game again? Hell yeah. No more interruptions. Hopefully. Press onward. Oh, there's a guy. He's sneaking. Look at him go. Doing the fucking thriller over there. Dang, I just ruined that guy's day. <laughs> he just wanted to do a dance. Oh, I missed.
that's what he dropped. Okay. I think I might. We're getting to a point where I might just replace the javelin gun with the detonator again. Because I'm starting to feel like I'm not really getting as much use out of the javelin gun as I thought I would. And I'm and I miss more of the shots I take with it than you know I actually land. So it's like I'd rather stick with something that I could actually, you know, use a bit more effectively. This room. Uh, you have to get down there on the bottom. No, I can't use the left. Okay. You have to put a battery pack in the wall, and then it's like there's like an arena fight. You have to fight some, fight some dudes. <gasps> Ooh, that's a large med pack. Drop that, I'm gonna pick that up. Where is he? There he is. He tried to shoot a spitball at me. this area specifically, but there's like, there are certain areas here in the mines where you gotta look around the background. Whoop. Ow. Oh, it's behind me. Please even let me get along here. Nothing for that. Because I knocked some of the bodies off. Man, that sucks. Oh, there we go. I got that at least. See how well I can I handle this, and then I think I'm just gonna put the javelin gun away. Oh, oh there you are.
I'm gonna grab that med kit that was up here. I'm gonna use it. I don't wanna use my fulls until I uh, actually need them. I didn't re reply to him, the comments he made, uh, just yet. I did read them, though. Um, and I'm glad you liked them. I, I freaking just threw digital pencil to digital paper, and, uh, I really like how they turned out. Um, I actually, <laughs> I made something and I was happy with the result. Which is, uh... It's been a while since, uh, since I felt that way about uh, something I made, which is, uh, it's, uh, it's been, it's a relief. Because um, I've just been in a headspace where it's like I've just been comparing myself to a lot of other people and uh, being a part of a, and being part of a, of a, you know, actually being like, involved in a community with a lot of talented people it, it kind of makes your shortcomings feel a bit more apparent you know so you know, being able to make something and not have that effect affect my poor fees is nice because I know it's kind of silly to get hung up on stuff like that but it's like just how it be sometimes So we're gonna try. I'm gonna do my tried and true method for how I usually handle this. I'm gonna put this battery in. It's gonna summon a whole bunch of necromorphs, and uh, I'm just gonna plant my butt in this corner and uh, try and survive. has failed me a little bit. Because I forgot how this worked. Because... There they are. Here they come. Okay. Yeah, I had a right. I thought there'd be more guys. I must have done this way differently in the past. Line elevator. 
Because, like, the last time I remember doing this... Um, you put the battery in, and then just everybody comes out of the woodwork and then just attacks you. I, th I guess I just never, like, explored the area fully before. And, like, gone past all the triggers for the, for the necromorphs. Very weird. Oh, I got nailed. Oh, you're still alive. I will now be mocked and ridiculed to the end of time. Oh, because I forgot how one one scenario in a game worked. Shame on me. I guess we're moving on to a new area. I don't need to bring anything else with me. Attention shift workers. Be mindful of the nearest survival chamber. These are your only hope of survival should a cave-in occur. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what this is. See what I told you? Baba Booey. A diamond semiconductor. Oh, we're, we're definitely taking that with. Uh, uh, we'll just use the med kit to top myself off. We're gonna keep that. Actually, we're gonna go... You know what? We'll go run to the store. I know, backtracking. Um, we're gonna go back to the store. And we're going to take care of this now. And I'm going to go grab the detonator. And uh, we'll, we're going to see how that goes for me. Haha, <laughs> Charlie knows the game. Yeah. A rare instance where I remember something. And I catch something out of the corner of my eye. Okay. We're going to sell the diamond semiconductor. And we're just going to hold on. Actually, I'll buy one power node, and we're going to hang on to the rest of the money. Because I, I still want to get that, the suit, when I find it. Which, it won't be for a while, but, you know. Uh, and we're just going to move Javelin Gun back over. Uh, we'll sell this stack, and we're going to move these back over. And I'm going to pick up the detonator. And my detonator charges. So the detonator is there. Okay, reloaded. It only holds three. That's gonna have to get fixed. Uh, and we'll save at the save station uh, a little further along. an 
guy out. Don't want to miss anything else. Like that. Sound just bugged out for me there for a second. It's kind of weird. Whoa. Uh, game? Game? You owe me an eye, you bastard. Okay. Yeah. Where's Where's the sound? Dude, what the fuck happened? <laughs> There's like a whole scene there. Man. Um I think am I I think I come through here a little later. Which is why there's a box up there. Huh. Yeah, that's sad. I mean, it was a fun scene there. Thanks game for bugging out on me. Hang on, let me... Can I... Hold on. Let me reload my... I want to reload my save. Let me reload my save and see if that... Uh... Even if that changed anything. I broke it. Yeah, something happened. Come on, come on. All right, we'll see what if it if it, if it does it this time. There you are, Isaac. We've been waiting for you. Now it's your turn. Oh god. Ellie! Step three! Ellie! You owe me an eye, you bastard! There we go, got it to work. Yeah, so Strauss, he poked Ellie's eye out with a screwdriver and uh, I guess we we owe her an eye I only have two of them so it's it's gonna be kind of hard and I I need them you now in order to survive so Whoop. hey look and now we're somehow Ellie lied she won't help but you will Isaac, he's run off. Deeper into the mines. I've got problems on this end, too. Get somewhere safe. Oh, I'll try. Ooh, dodge that. Got him. Okay. Now, supposedly... I, I did a little uh, researching. Uh, supposedly, you can take a detonator mine if you shoot it into the the center there, like I tried to do. You shoot it into the sh the center of that monster's like little nest. Uh, you can kill it in one hit. It didn't work for me, so I must have done something wrong, or the internet lied to me. But uh, yeah. But somehow we got dragged down to the vacuum of space through a hole in the asteroid. So, gotta find our way back into the mines now. The high five, I'll lend you one. Yeah, I appreciate the thought. 
God bless demons and, and their otherworldly anatomy. Or... Or wait, would, would, it, would it be God bless? I don't know. Oh, there we go. You just had to do the thing. Okay. Then, there we go. Then you can move the lasers out of the way. Perfect. Okay. Nice shooting. Where'd you get it? <laughs> From practice. Cause this hasn't been my first rodeo. Okay, so we need to get that laser grid out of the way. We'll put it there, and then whoop. Okay, and this was just for another propellant thing. So now the sound sounds really, like, there's a lot of buzzing now that I'm hearing in my headphones. Okay. Alright, I think I picked up everything there is here. So I think we're good. I like to think of it more as a Lucifer curse. Yeah, that's 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 true. Oh, cool. Thanks <laughs> for a gun I don't have. Should be. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Hey, buddy. <gasps> You're outside. Ooh. Tricky, tricky. Okay, well, we're going back and getting that. this is this what i think it is oh no oh it's schematics for contact energy okay i'll take that i'm still waiting well, what you waiting for
Glad I caught that before the door closed. Not that it doesn't lock or anything, at least I don't think. Told me to wait, 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 so I'm still here waiting. Don't disappoint me, travel boy. Oh! Well, you don't have to wait anymore. I got that contact. Contact energy, we all good. Ellie, I'm back inside. Where are you? Where's Strauss? Oh, I'm safe for now, but he's lost it. I think he's coming for you. I found something you're gonna want to see. Here's my location. Oh. <clears throat> Hurry and get here. I'm not in any shape to be fighting. I'll get there as soon as I can. Stay safe. Alright, we just got a bunch of... bunch of loot here. Free up some space. Want that, want that, want that. That. I'm disappointed. Unfollowing immediately. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll get on making that apology video here. As soon as I'm done slaying alien zombies. Ah, yeah, this room is a fun one. You're stuck on this catwalk, and there are enemies that spawn all over this way. And, uh. They like to spawn a bunch of them. And ones that like to throw loogies at you. Oh, well, that. <laughs> wow, helpful. Thanks. Guy. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay. Your arms. Find one of the. There you are. I missed. Thought it was gonna run further than that. Exactly the one I wanted, but I'll take that. Very good. Very good. That's force energy. I don't have the gun for that. Pick that up. I pick this up. Reuse it. this with because I think there's another one it's like another there he is I freaking missed oh hey don't mind me Friendly fired your own buddy there.
Oh yeah, and I guess that's another fun fact. Uh, there is friendly fire between all the monsters in, in this game. So, uh, yeah, you can... If you can, you can... Oh, shit! You can thread the needle and... Get Necromorphs to shoot each other. Wow, I nailed that guy right in the dome. Aw, oh, man. Those were Ripper Blades. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> energy I should probably use that is clear. Oh, there's a node door here, and I think this locked room has uh, a schematic that I'm looking for and wanting. If it's the room I'm thinking of, which I'm pretty sure it is. Is this it? There it is. The advanced suit. The suit that you saw in all the advertising for this game. I want that gold semiconductor power node. I want that health kit. I want to take that with me. I'm going to drop this. I'm taking that. I'm going to take that gold semiconductor too. this, take that, and we'll come back for these in a bit. If this, I don't think the store is like anywhere close. Oh yeah, it'll be a while till we hit this hit the store, because I think I know what scene's coming up next. Oh my gosh, where is that thing? I hear you, I hear you. And snipe me from somewhere. I want that detonator mine. Crush my limited inventory space. Oh my god, where is that thing? Aha! I found it. God, there's so much stuff I want to take. Alright, quick ball.
All right, let's get this door open. Why did my helmet come off? No! But uh, you jostle his body around a little bit, you get this little audio log. Back in this room. Huh. I didn't know we actually looped all the way around. That's interesting. Okay, yeah. We, we go down there. Okay, so we head down to that room. You know, we're actually right near a store. So I think I'm going to go drop off the stuff that we found. At least, I think. the door. Okay, the door's still unlocked. I can still get there. energy in the advanced suit. Oh wow, the advanced suit is 40? Oh, we could totally afford that. Uh, first we're gonna sell this, we're gonna sell this. Gotta empty out the inventory a little bit. Alright, let's get it. The advanced suit. Um, I didn't look at the the description for it. I think the advanced suit gives you more stasis duration. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna take my put the suit on and then take it off immediately just to look. But look at this. Damn. Such a cool fit. Oh my god. Real quick, work butts with that. Look at how cool this thing looks. It's like it's got a like a one piece suit going on. It's almost like a super suit. The helmet design looks awesome. Like the the, the slats in it. It's got like the little thingy on the top on the forehead, and it's got like a, an extra neck guard with a giant fat screen on the chest. Ah. <sighs> Uh, yeah, the, yeah, it's my suit's the advanced suit. Can you tell me what, uh, what perk I have? I wish you would tell me. Uh, oh, I should probably put on the, put on the vintage suit while I'm shopping. I keep forgetting to do that. Now that is awesome. Hell yeah. The advanced suit is so cool. But, uh, yeah, this was the suit that they showed off in the first trailer for this game. And it was in all the advertising. It's like, that was the suit that they were showing off. And they were like, look at how cool this thing looks. And that was the first suit that we saw, you know, the suit up with. Where the helmet actually came out of the, the back and the front and pieced itself together on his head like Iron Man. So, it's like, seeing that for the first time was awesome. 
Yeah, stasis recharge time is decreased by 50%. Which, for my... For uh, what I use, mostly, that's a pretty good perk, so I'm going to be holding on to that. Um, I'm going to buy a power node, though. We'll have eight of those. We have so many. Okay, but we're going to put the suit back on, and we're going to use it. So that is this will be the suit that we use for the remainder of the game. gonna go do a little backtracking. We're gonna go see if we can wrangle up all the stuff I dropped, if it didn't despawn already. Because I think loading up the area with the store in it counts as a... <laughs> I think counts as a separate area. Oh, cool. And it gave me... It gave me freaking javelin spears. <laughs> Nice one. Yeah. Freaking walked right into that one. Oh, this is still here. Good. Good, good, good. We can pick all this stuff up. Because now I have all four of my, or at least five? Yeah, I have all five of my inventory slots now. this and this. Um, the lockers can be opened, so I can't do anything with that. Perfect. Okay. Take the lift down. What horrors are waiting for me a little further on down the path? Oh, we're doing the elevator, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing the elevator. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Oh, lost that for a pickup, but well, whatever. Beats losing health. Ooh, a power node. Thank you, dead body. Blades, more contact energy. I like it, I like it. And an audio log. Audio log, read number 438642. I've been selected for a special secret mission down in the core systems on the Shard. I hope I can do them proud. I hope they be praised. Yeah, and there's the 
Dead Space Mobile protagonist again. We got her last transmission and her first transmission here in the mines. Call the elevator. Much like the first game, we got a long elevator ride and a big flat platform. We're gonna have to fight some guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, traveler. Dead body. There's the alt fire for the contact beam for you. Gives you invincibility frames, and it knocks dudes down. And if they're weak enough, ow, they just fall apart as soon as they take damage. It's super helpful. to confront your feelings! better. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know if the flamethrower would have got me out of that situation. Oh, there's a bench right here. Thank heaven. Okay. I'm gonna use this first. Can't help, I almost choked on air. <laughs> yeah, because you have to. You have to remember the. The Nicole. Like. They're like illusions. They're technically not real. 
So it's... So... Was Isaac just, like, holding his own neck? Right there? Slamming himself into the rocks? Okay, we got a, got a lot. Oh, I didn't upgrade this thing at all. I wonder. Okay. I could heal myself right now, so let's do that. I've got one left. Yeah, we'll be buying some more stuff here in a bit. There we go. Bazinga. Killed myself. I'm glad you saw it choking that, but I legitimately almost choked to death on my own breath. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope you're okay. <laughs> Spears. I don't need those logging up my inventory. Uh, okay. I am thankfully alive. Thank heaven. I <laughs> don't want you dying on me now. If I recall correctly, we don't have another vacuum area for the rest of the game, I think. I think we did the last one. So, I think we're good there. towards the duration on the river. At least put it on something that will at least give me something, because i got to hold on to that last one. There we go. Alright. Pretty much done here. Um, I'm going to save my shopping for later, because I think I'm going to hit another area where you're going to have time to wander around a bit, uh, pick up some stuff. So I think... Yes! Yep, we're at chapter 12. before he could finish fixing this. Strauss is dead, Ellie. Well, I'm not sorry about that. So what happens now? I thought you needed Strauss to destroy the marker. Strauss couldn't lead us with the marker. He 
is running away from his guilt. What about you? I'm not running anymore. I know what I have to do. Well, this drilled a stroke of good luck, finally. Why don't you get up to the cab to try to get it started? I'll look for the other power cell. Alright. See what I can do from up here. Alright, so... It really bums me out again that you don't get to see his face because I'm pretty sure in that where in that scene just now where he says that drill this drill is a stroke of good luck, he actually gives like a little smile. Where he's like he's just He was trying to have a moment. Cool, disconnect from Xbox Live. Neato. And it's like, man, I really wish I could have seen like an animated facial expression to show that he was like happy I'm trying to have a moment my game is starting to stutter now what the fuck is happening xbox are you okay <laughs> Saw that a little too late. But I got the battery. Hey, what'd you do? I just lost the control holograms. Yeah, the circuit junction just shorted out. I'll have to find another one. Well, it's standard. There should be another one around here somewhere. Uh, I'll look. Any luck up there? Well, no. Not now. Right. <laughs> I love that moment. It's like. Well, yeah, I don't have the controls. Of course I don't have any luck. It's just in local UK resident. Winner fake you choked to death watching your favorite streamer. Last words were noted as flamethrower is better. It is believed the streamer force choked him in anger. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> right after they posted that, I, a hand just came out of the screen and grabbed my throat. able to friggin fight the hand off of me using a Xbox Duke controller. <laughs> Oh, and here's the spawn point for the monsters. It's right here. It's a little spawn point for them to pop out. Ooh, dead in your mind. Thanks, game. Yeah, Xbox is not okay. Yeah. It was a. Uh, it was having a moment there. Found it. Great. I think I pop wide the system to bypass the nav cards. Thank God. Yeah. That thing's name was Bob for a second. I think it's just Boar? Yeah, B O R. I it said Bob. Oh! Gross. <laughs> Did that rat just sneeze on me? Gross. We love Bob. Yeah. <laughs> There's something about him, though. Okay. I'm not 
I'm missing anything else, right? Oh, hey, I got this. <laughs> My one teeny little med kit. Okay, we're gonna pull the ripper out. We're just gonna start ripping and or tearing. Uh, how much money do I have? 27,000? Okay. Oh, and then I can sell this diamond semiconductor. That'll free up some inventory space. And I'll sell that contact energy that I got. Oh, hey! I'm gonna pick these up real quick. Power node. Alright. That was some plasma energy and a, uh... Uh... Some ripper blades. That's good. Uh, because once I put in the nav... The, not the nav cards. The little fuse thing. Oh, you don't, you don't have an inventory for the items you pick up. You have that in the first game, but I guess not in this one. Ellie for gore. Um, but yeah, once you put that in, you do a little, the little hacking mini game. Then the drill starts. You fight some dudes, and then uh, you do a little arena battle on top of the drill. Oh, I just just popped my back. Oh, that felt really nice. Drill me VR to get her out of here now. If only I would, now if only would start up. Transport carrying Ellie and Strauss crashed before I landed here. I have to find Ellie fast. Strauss is sleeping in a fragile mental state. He might not be dangerous. He might be dangerous to us all. Yeah, I took care of that already. Because it's why it's in green. These mines are all that's left of the Titan moon. Government sector was built into this piece of rock right above me. That's where Tideman and the marker are. That's where I need to go. Alright, let's do some let's do some shopping! that. Sell these. Sell that. I have four of these. I'll just use some of them. Alright. I'm gonna buy... Oh, wait. Do I? Yeah, we do. <laughs> you have to shop in your finest duds. Buy a couple of them. Uh, we're gonna sell these. Okay, yeah, the ripper is gonna be the thing we'll use next. Uh, we'll buy one of these. Buy two stacks of plasma energy. Kicking suit back on, go to the bench, spend a little, and then we'll party on, Wayne. Alright, 
inventory check. Still got plenty of room. Just the way I like it. Okay. Upgrade the reload speed on the plasma cutter. Stasis is almost fully upgraded. <laughs> you know, for having put a lot of work into it, I don't use it a lot. Alright, well. Okay, I thought I saw something. It wasn't, wasn't it? I think I've got it from up here. What? I didn't hear you. Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna rewire from down here. into them. So, do be careful. Resident Evil 4, right? <laughs>
<laughs> and after response. I survived the mines. Yep, there we go. Whoa. Whoa, 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 stop, stop! Looks like we reached the foundation pylons of the government sector. So how do we get in there? Straight ahead. We do have a giant drill. <coughs> you know, I'm right on top of this thing, right? Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> well, we can compare bruises later. But at least we made it, right? And this is most definitely government sector. And I'm guessing that marker of yours is behind that huge door over there. Well, I better move fast. Those things are gonna find a way up the hole we drilled. There's gotta be an elevator or something connecting these floors. I'm gonna try to make my way to you. Alright, I'll meet you halfway. Well, there we go. Chapter 13. Uh, I believe we're getting close to the end now because we've, we've hit government sector and this is pretty much the end. Um, these machines, we've seen a few of them around. Um, you'll actually find Pristine. Isaac, there's a gunship docked here. What? Is it damaged? Not that I can tell. Isaac, do you hear me? We're going to make it out of here alive. One of us is. It's too dangerous for you to stay here, Ellie. What are you talking about? Just get your ass in here. I'm starting a system check now. Hmm. But uh, you'll find some of those pristine, like, devices around here, like this one here. Uh, but this one, it's basically an ATM machine. You punch it. Gives you $10,000. <laughs> I wish it worked that way in real life. Ha 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 ha. Although, to be fair, to be fair to Isaac, though, I mean, this, this is, like, an abandoned facility, so, it's like, you yeah, know, I don't think anybody's gonna really care that much. I punch people all the time and I only lose money. Yeah, well, well, see, the thing is, is you're punching people. You have to punch machines. You have to get them to submit to your will. You know, it's like the Ponzarelli fix. It's kind of like that.
engine fueling confirmed. Huh, I think this bird might fly. Oh, looks like the nav is shot though. Hmm, that's not good. But there's a cutscene trigger right here. So you want to wait until she's done talking. Gotta get, you know, gotta listen to all the dialogue. Uh, you hit the trigger though and she stops talking. Oh, I see. Kill the robots before they kill us. Exactly. Yay. AI is the, will be the bane of us all. You know, unless we actually, you know, put them in, put those systems in check of things that don't deny us our human creativity and all that. to talk now why so I can let you go too I can't do that Nicole I never wanted to let you go a lot happened that we never wanted Isaac touch me I don't think that's a good idea Isaac, please. Make us whole. I can't. Well, we are now officially on our own. We got no direction. I don't know what Providence protects you, Clark, but it ends here. I have 200 armed security personnel. Every entrance is covered. Even if you do get in, you won't get the bar. All right. This is pretty much the end of the line. Now we're facing we're facing the gauntlet now. Uh, we don't need to stop into the store. Uh, I'll pick up a power node. I'll just pick up a power node when we. Uh, I don't need to worry about worry about the discount. Just, but just you know, don't worry about it because now the fight begins. We're gonna be facing a whole lot just to get, uh, just to get to the marker. I mean, even tinier paper box with the faces of Minecraft mobs on all but one side. That's cool. Oh yeah, and now that you you step out here, all the necromorphs from the mines start showing up. Um, the aggro trigger is like right through the door here, I think. So. uh... If you wanted to, you can like pick them off here at the door and they won't aggro at you.
Okay. So I think the thing you need to do... Yeah, is you go over here to this and you can unlock the door. Um, how I used to play that is I used to go and... St hmm. I used to go and stasis all the enemies. And then I would just quick... And then just play the minigame real quick, get the door open, and then bolt my way through. Oh, hey, buddy, I see you over there. There we go. Just like that, and then. Whee! And then just run through. Now we're safe, technically. Whoops, and healed myself. There goes all my health. Cool. Great. Love that for me. Also, I'm pressing the alt fire button. Game won't let me aim at the guard. The these are the guards here. Can't shoot at them. The only time you actually see other yeah, like other human people that you can actually point your gun at that, you know, aren't Ellie and Strauss. Also, if you do happen to stand there, they just open fire at you and they shoot you and you die. Hey guys. Hi. I'm gonna make this situation worse for everybody. I think I feel like causing problems on purpose. did close the bulkhead door. That's yeah, like right there. Huh. Never noticed that before. Alright. Oh, you see that guy? There's the big tall one. Gotta keep it all except for one side so that way you can put that side down. Gotta be able to see all the lovely faces.
think those things actually popped out of the out of the vents in here. Oh, I got a health kit. Thanks, game. Took pity on me. Uh, do you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's up for me. Survive that. Ripper blades. Also, a little fun fact. What? Oh no. What are you going to do about it, guys? Thanks to uh, the ghost of our dead girlfriend, we've got our waypoint now. It's not a note door. Neither is that. So those are just locked. Security man, help me. Thank you. So... They were growing the marker in a lab to study it. <sighs> so while there are religious con connotations to the marker, it seems like the government was just studying it because it was an alien. Artifact. Okay, that was reloaded. Give me 
actually say I've stopped making fewer boxes due to my leg cramping. And can now pay more attention. <laughs> well, it's nice to have you here and present. Seeker shells, cool. Uh, we need to reload this. Because it was empty. Cool, now I got a couple more slots. We're gonna save. And because this game had hardcore mode in it. was gonna break open uh because this game is hardcore mode in it this like last stint has like uh oh Can reminds me of this game. We are going to this land, and we shall call it this land. Uh, I might have dropped their seeker shells because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to encounter a store for a bit. Oop, another audio log. Yeah. It's like, bro, you shouldn't be messing around with this stuff. Okay. Is this another arena? I think it is. Is this another arena? I think it is. Okay, our door's just locked. Ooh, a node door. Picked up the one off of that. Drop the seeker shells. Ooh, ripper blades. Cool. I can pick that up. Nice. Energy. 
stasis pack. A health kit. And something just broke the vent outside the door. We'll deal with that in a bit. Want that. I think when you step out this door, there he is, Slender Man. Spend it on some upgrades, shall we? Let's get the detonator's damage up, because I'm going to be using that a bit more. This is setting in. Uh, we'll put it right here. Might as well, then we can get this damage upgraded. Hey, we think he's a super strong guy, but has anyone, anyone tried shooting him before? You know, in all of those, like, live-action fan series and all that, I don't think... I can't... Well, none... I can't think of any of them off the top of my head where somebody actually pulls a gun on him and tries to shoot him. The only time I've ever seen somebody actually pull a gun on Slender Man and shoot him was was somebody modded the slend the game Slender to have the Doom shotgun in it. <laughs> and as soon as Slender Man appeared, they just blew him away with the with the super shotgun. It was very funny. Oh yeah, I was opening this because I wanted to... Yeah, government sector, we finally made it. I'm heading to Ellie's location now. But how far is this going to go? Ellie helped me get here, but she can't help me destroy the marker. Even I'm not sure how to do that. She could become just another casualty. The longer we stick together... Oh, she could become just another casualty the longer we stick together. Nicole says I'm getting close to the marker. She says I'll know what to do. I hope she's right. Oh, I know what's coming up. Oh, I know what this is. It's this room. Needless to say, I'm not really a fan of this room. When I first played this game... I'm just gonna put it there on the opposite side of the room. Eh, that's good enough. This was like the first, like, true horror game that I, like, seriously played. So... Being a relatively scared teen playing through this game for the first time, 
situations like this terrify me. Break open boxes. I never knew that. Body Weddington, research log 16671. It's the same signal. Dementia and codes and blueprints are all caused by the same signal from the marker. It's the people that are different. Smart people see codes and blueprints, but to everyone else, it's just noise. Noise that drives you mad. Personally, I would have used the... I used... I would have used the word intelligent, not just smart, whatever. I wasn't a writer on this game, so... I would have preferred to use the word intelligence, but whatever. I'm personally going to hunt Slender Man with a shotgun. <laughs> I'm going to have a team of people all split up in a foggy forest, which, contrary to popular belief, does not make you more vulnerable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> split up. <laughs> Search for clues. Actually, guys, no. We need to. Let's stick together. Grab as many weapons as we can. We move together. Wait for our parents. Plasma energy. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Yeah, that one's dead. Where's the other one? There it is. I knew it. Uh, we're gonna save. Man, we're actually making pretty decent time. I thought it would take us four hours just to get through the mines, but we got through that pretty quickly. What is that? I can feel it in my head. We're getting closer, Isaac. The marker knows you're here. I still don't know what to do. When the time comes, you will. They put a they put friggin' babies in here. Crap. Looks like I have to dodge these lasers to make my way around the other side. This will be fun.
And it's so much like the room in uh, the Ishimura with the the uh, the centrifuge. Uh, you got to be on the be on your toes. I don't think you can actually stasis the the centrifuge, or you can't say. Let me start again. Like the centrifuge in Dead Space 1 and in the Shimmer here in this game, you can't actually stasis it and slow it down so you get more of a chance to run. You just have to time your run just right and try and make it to the rooms on the other side of this like central area. And it fills me with anxiety. Whee! This is a bad time to go. Eh. <laughs> Dang, they're a real cut up above the rest, huh? <laughs> your Isaac, joke, your Isaac's. Oh, fuck me. Isaac, your jokes are terrible. I know, I'm just trying to cope. terrible situation I find myself in. Just trying to deal. Also, I think I... And I just realized, I don't think the alt fire on... The alt fire doesn't give you invincibility frames on the contact beam. It only gives you armor frames. Woo! So while you don't get knocked back, you do take damage. So you can't necessarily use it to save yourself from being killed. You you still die. Also, I was running through there, and I there it is. No nope, inventory's full. Uh, of course it is. Slender man, the many kids he's taken. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ow. I think it'll just end up disappearing, but... Oh, hey, it's flipped into the wall. Pretty sure these will just disappear by the time the elevator goes up, but... I want to take these with me. I see, that's right, you go across the arms, right. I'm starting to member. I forgore what I remember. Yeah, 
another enemy? It's like an enemy that's supposed to like pop out of here or something, right? Okay, cool. Topped off that. That's cool. Alright. Oh no, I was thinking over here. There was a. I wish there was a button I could push that could auto sort my inventory. I know something like that wasn't really like in vogue at the time this game came out, but I feel like it would really benefit this game a lot if it had it. You know, help give me a better sense of my my inventory and what I've got. Store right now, store right now. Store right now. So now we're here in the final gauntlet. So now we're basically going...
hate remembering an old ARG that I found out found out about their analysis video, but being unable to find the ARG or the video. Oh yeah. Those always suck. It's like, oh I remember this I remember this thing. I remember what happened in it, but I don't know its name or who made it. Oh my god. Please just leave me alone. See, there's a good use for the the detonator, and you know, good and proper use of it. Flame fuel. Thanks, game. Kids, for fuck's sake. Okay. Good news is, though, is the red. I found one of them, but I still don't know the other. No, don't know the other. Oh. Stay there. Well, I've got one full health kit. That'll do me some good, I think. <laughs> Must we go over this again? Flamethrowers, not something I use. Here at the 
bottom of the room, I put that detonator mine on the wrong side of the room. Because I thought the door was over there. Um, we can fix this. Just do this. Badoop. want to do that though because we walk over here to do this and we get a we get an elite brute Baba Booey Contact being putting in work. There we go. We're gonna use one more of those, clear out an inventory slot. <laughs> Baba Boomy. Kiwi in the gooey kablooey. Here we go. And here's the marker chamber. You can shoot the necromorphs over there on the other side of the platform. If you shoot them, they do die and they do drop stuff. However, they are completely out of range for your kinesis, and you cannot pick up anything they drop. So, uh, you know, shoot them for fun if you want, but it's not really going to help you with anything. Text log. Private communication from the Overseer. Tideman, disappointed in the evacuation decision. Consequences will be dire. That is all. Where? Where? Hearing it, but where is the? There it is. Audio log. Kira Phelps, research log forty-three five five three. I'm convinced we are puppets of some alien influence. I no longer believe we are in control of this project or ever were. I believe even our rationalizations for this whole thing are an illusion, planted by the forces behind the original marker, the the, the, the black one. We don't know how to make this thing. It is making us make it, and it's trying to get out desperately. I'm under security watch after taking a sledgehammer to the tiny marker I built last week. We need to destroy everything we've built here. And destroy every record, every shred of research. They were right the first time on Aegis 7. This is beyond our ability to know or control. I have to go. My supervisor is whispering to the security guard. Yeah, and see, people were starting to... Starting to catch on to the fact that the marker wasn't a, uh purely good thing. God, man, we have so much. Okay, this time I want the vintage suit on. We're gonna do a lot of shopping. So this is one of the... This is meant to be like a checkpoint for the end of the game in one of the spots in a hardcore run where you would plant one of your saves because you only get three saves in a hardcore run 
And this would be one of the spots where the game is kind of like, eh, eh, plant your save here, because you got a score. Uh, I'm pretty sure you saw the bench as I was whipping the camera around. Uh, you get the store, the bench, and a save point right here. So it's pretty much a uh, a safe haven for you. Like a standard safe room in a Resident Evil game. For danger rooms. <laughs> to me, X Men. Okay. I'm gonna keep the vintage suit on for now. I'm gonna take care of this stuff real quick. Uh, then when we head out, I'll put the I'll put my advanced suit back on. Contact beam is fully upgraded. Um, I do want a faster charge time. Uh, the Ripper, I want damage up on that. Stasis module. There we go. Duration's up on that. That'll be incredibly helpful as we proceed onward. space so I will buy another medium med kit I'll buy a stasis unit and a medium med kit and we'll put my suit back on and we'll save Soon, just need to take my own bye break. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Go piss, girl. You ever seen that meme? No, I haven't had. I haven't had to take my own yet either. I haven't been really hitting the water as hard. Ooh. 
Oh boy. Oh my god. I built that. What? What are they doing? They're all coming to the marker. Convergence is at hand. I didn't know you were trouble from the start, but they told me you were necessary. That your mind was the purest. I spent years sifting through your demented brain. This is not the way it was supposed to happen. Well, how was it supposed to happen, Tyler? We had it under control. Clark, this is not our fault. We are so close to understanding it. That's not good. That's not good. Cool. A little med kit. There we go. It just topped me off. Machine, just like Straw said. I remember this. The machine activates the parts of our brain where the marker codes are stored. But how does that threaten the marker? What were they afraid of? Me. Us. Working together. Step four. Okay, speaking of bio breaks, <laughs> I'm gonna go take my own because now I just had it hit me and we're going into a very anxiety inducing section of this game. So I'm gonna be right back <laughs> and we'll take care of this after I've, after I'm in a more relaxed state of mind. So I'll be right back.
Okay, here we are. All right. Dang it, just as I returned. Yeah, sorry about that. Step one, crawl inside. Step two, the screws go tight. All the way out. Cross my heart and help to die. Stick a needle in your eye. I hate this! Isaac's art, art, his heart rate up too high. His eyes move around too much. You have to stick him straight in the pupil. So, I don't like eye stuff in anything when it comes to like, uh, like games and movies and all that other stuff. I just. Eye stuff is like it's kind of messed up because your eye is a very vulnerable part of your body and it's like when you when you're dealing with that stuff <laughs> and also it's very easy to fuck this up because this is an instant kill scenario it's like if you don't do this right then it, Uh, he dies in a very gruesome and very gory way, as as is the way for Dead Space. Please work with me, buddy. Please work with me, buddy. Fuck. Please, buddy. Oh, got it. Okay, I can't look. Not looking. This is horrifying. Not the worst eye stuff I've seen in the game. It's still... Yeah. This... Again. Seeing this as a kid... Not as, not as a kid, as a teen. Because I think I played this when I was like, I don't know, I was like late teens when I played this. This was like one of those bits where I was like, oh no, I can't. I was like, Nicole. eyes are closed. Like I'm squinting through one eye, slowly moving it down. Follow the light, Isaac. It was like, uh, yeah, and it's it still bothers me. And then, the game has the, the gall to do that, throw you into chapter 14, you have to open this door, through this, through the hacking minigame, and then through a vent, pops the guy that we saw when we first got into the facility. This is the Uber Morph. So that guy, this is a necromorph that can regenerate. It is basically the regenerator from the first game. And they throw you into a closed room where you have to do the hacking minigame while he's regenerating. Oh, there we go. And he's already back. Open the door, open the door, open the door, let me through, let me through, let me through! Okay. So, you are now hunted through this section by the uber morph while other necromorphs are now closing in on you <laughs> needless to say this section sucks Specifically forbids evacuation in the event of a breach. I have spent 
save and it's funny because yeah as soon as Tideman was like there was a breach it's so funny he ended up breaking protocol and tried to save people which was against what people what the overseer wanted I hate this I hate this I hate this oh yeah me too and I hated this section so much back in the day I know in some, I think it's in, like related to difficulty, but he'll pop up in some of these, in some of these areas. Okay, so here's the trigger. The trigger from. Oh, oh, we're not gonna wait. Okay. Okay. The trigger for the Uber Morph is right in front of this body. You need this body to open that door. So the best you can do is get yourself secured, be ready, and when you run up and grab that body, just grab the body and then just throw it at that door. Don't bother walking up to it, just get the body close to the door. It will unlock it just purely based on having the rig next to the door. And then you just book it. That buddy <laughs> thanks man <laughs> oh he didn't he dodged that okay yep sorry sorry for two yep 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 okay <laughs> close it oh you betrayed me save point you betrayed me the door opened <laughs> okay hang on <laughs> wait <laughs> owie <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Don't have time for you. Die, 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 die. Thank you. Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. Okay, okay go through here. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh no! Okay. <gasps> I. Kidding me. Dude, leave me alone. I thought you didn't follow me through here. 
Ow! Oh, great! You know, it's a party! Cool! Get off of me! Ow! Oh, that's not the gun I wanted. Ay! I'm going to die! Okay. Oh, that saved me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Okay, there was another vacuum section. I completely forgot about this. <sighs> oh well. I'll I'll take this over dealing with the Uber Morph any day of the week. Nice. Okay. Okay. Woo. Okay. Do I have inventory? Yes, I do. Okay. Taking that with me. <sighs> okay. What do I have? I'm in good supply on contact beam ammo. I need to make sure everything's reloaded. Fully reloaded, I think. I hope. Got two slots, good. Okay, I'm gonna stick with this. Okay, I think. Aye! Secured by a horror gamer movie. This has done it. Dude, this last section is intense. And this is just on normal. Imagine playing through this on Zealot or Hardcore difficulty. This will rinse you so bad. Okay. Okay. So we've hit... We've hit the end of... Uh, the, like, the last... Okay, so here's the last major checkpoint. We've got the store. we got a bench. Save station's right there. Through that door is the last stretch. We are home... Is Convergence is almost here. Yeah, the marker is right through this door. That is home stretch right there. But 
uh, we did pass a node door on the way through here. There is a little glitch in the original release of the game that you could do. And I'm going to attempt to use this glitch for my own benefit. So the thing is, and you need a power node to do this. Is you walk back here. Oh, we can grab this one. Perfect. Is you walk back here through this hallway. Right around the corner. Unlock the node door. And you'll find two power nodes. And like a ruby semiconductor in here. Yep, here it is. You can find a lot of a lot of good stuff in here. I need this on baby mode. That's how I play most games. Oh yeah, when I, I think, I can't remember if I played this on easy or normal when I first started. But even playing this on on easy mode, I, my hands still get clammy. Um, what you can do is then you run up here, you save. We're gonna see if this this works. I don't know if it does, but we'll have to see. Or I may have messed up the order of operations. So then you go in here, after you saved, you quit. You go to single player, load game, load your save file. You book it back to that node door. And if you run back here, and I think if you open the door again. Yep. The Ruby Semiconductor and the Power Nodes respawn. Glad it still works in the year of our Lord and Savior 2022. So you can sit here at the final checkpoint. This is like the last safe space you have. And you can, if you spend a little time, power yourself up to the point where you're just, you're basically just Iron Man. And you can Iron Man your way through the entire last leg of the game. You can get yourself like a hundred thousand credits. You can up you can upgrade every gun in the game at this point. Just by doing this exploit. And it works, and I'm pretty sure this works on the same it's the same principle as the money glitch in like the near the beginning of the game that I showed off. Where if you go up and down that elevator it reloads that area. It's kind of the same principle. So, uh, I'm just going to do it one or two more times, and then we're just going to get a move on. Because there are um, a few uh, Because there are a few configurations you can get in that room where you get different uh, a different arrangement of items. Man, imagine a fully powered <laughs> fully powered flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> and that is and that's just where it'll be in your imagination um, but one thing you can do 
is you can pick up the power nodes and then go back, save, and then uh, quit and do that whole thing. And, uh... And, uh, what you, so what you do, so what you can do is, um, you pick up the nodes, but you leave the, um, you leave the semiconductor there on the floor. And, uh, <laughs> if you leave the semiconductor there and you just go over and over and over again, you end up with a stack of semiconductors on the floor because the game reloads them and leaves them in that area. So you can end up with just a nice little stack of, of, uh semiconductors it does not work with the power nodes though i don't think oh man man magic play five flamethrower i want a snow thrower frost thrower my inventory <laughs> thanks game I really appreciate you fixing my inventory problem now everything's organized I have 11 power nodes okay so I think we're we're fit to be tied here so Actually, why is it called a flamethrower? It spews flames, they aren't thrown. Ah, because flamethrower just rolls right off the tongue. It's not it's nice to say. Alright. This will be the last one. We've got like several power nodes. We could power up just like one thing. Um, maybe, well, and considering it's late, we could theoretically just buy the, buy the flamethrower and then just upgrade it to max just for the, for the lulls. Um, but, uh, I kind of want to just get the, get the game wrapped up. We've hit three hours, that's actually pretty good. Maybe, and since we're actually at the end of this and I'm running around showing this off. Oh. Oh, see, here's another one of the configurations you can get. You can get no power nodes and just $3,000. That is one of the things you can get. You can also get one power node here and a ruby semiconductor there. Or two power nodes and no semiconductor. You know, you can get any number of random random configurations according to the interwebs it's because it comes from the it comes from the word flammenwerfer it was invented in germany interesting so does so is like flammenwerfer so is like is werfer like for throwing is that what a more literal translation of that word would be All right, we got 11 of these bad boys. Stasis, fully charged. Uh, we literally don't need air anymore. We're at the end. Uh, damage for the plasma cutter at maximum. Uh, 
I have no idea. I only speak three languages. None are German. <laughs> I didn't know you're multilingual. That's pretty cool. Upgrade the the the, 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 the ripper all the way. Contact beam. We'll get the reload upgraded a little bit more. Uh, you know what? And we'll upgrade my health all the way. Spanish and Russian. My English isn't so good, though. Dang! Honestly, that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty rad. Because... <laughs> I only know one. And we'll, we'll spend the money, too. I'm also planning on learning Italian. Dang, man. That's impressive. Okay, what does my inventory look like? Um, let's buy a stasis unit. We'll buy another full med kit. Uh, I've got I got plenty of ammo for the for like the final stretch. I think I'm doing all right. I'm just red like that. Yeah, I have nothing better to do with my life. It's actually quite sad. Well, I mean, picking up a language isn't. I think picking up a language is a pretty noble noble thing to. It's a pretty noble thing to do. You're expanding your knowledge, and I think that's a good thing. Is picking up. Language is easy for you. Because I had a friend. I knew someone from a while ago. And this was a while ago. I haven't heard from them in forever. Uh, this person was incredibly smart. Um, and he picked up languages incredibly easily. Also, I just realized we still had Pang. You know what? For the meme... For the meme... We're taking Pang to endgame. There will always be Pang. But uh, yeah, the per the dude I knew, he was super. He was super smart. He could do almost anything with a computer. Um, and I could actually say, I knew somebody who worked at Nintendo because he did work at. Uh, he worked at. Uh, he worked at Nintendo for a pretty decent chunk of time. What was this? <gasps> yeah, that's what I want. Oh, I don't have enough. Meh. That's fine. It's not a smooth learning experience, but it's not really hard either. My biggest accomplishment is learning the the F slur in Spanish. <laughs> hey, that from what I've heard from people who learn other languages, the easiest way to teach people is to tell them how to swear. So, you know, you got that. 
Okay, here we go. One last save. It's time to time to bring it home. Okay. And the minute you walk out of this door, it opens up. There's going to be a puker on, I think it's either your left or your right. And it, he will immediately hit you with a snot ball. And then a leaper will come down and then attack you. It is. It's annoying. And I've dealt with it enough times that I actually remember it. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh! Hey, you nailed your friend. Nice going. Going this way. <laughs> nope, don't care. Long hair, don't care. Let me through the door. Thank you very much. gonna knock him down. Ah! Long hair, don't care. Simon, welcome to the... Ah! You're in the blender, pal. <laughs> Text log. If anyone may find this transmission, there are people, even some of my own staff, who say I'm a monster for what I brought to this station. They say the marker is manipulative, that it influenced my decisions, they don't understand what I did. I did for this community, for our species. Titan Station is a dead husk before I breathe life back into it with government research grants. The research into unimaginable resources of energy, into manufacturing techniques and efficiencies far beyond all previous understanding, is the only hope that remains for mankind. We have, failed. We have relied on destructive planet cracking for far too long and now we can no longer sustain ourselves. We need the markers to survive. If we fail in our efforts to understand them, there is no hope left for humanity. Hans Tiedman, Director of Operations for Gov Colonial Alliance. Oh, I think I looked up the stasis back there. insulted someone yells that at me i'd be complimented fun uk fact the f slur is slang for cigarettes here i think i did know that at some point i think i did know that all right so this is here's the final stretch um you can okay so here's a fun a little fun fact the Ubermorph is not meant to be killable, right? It's supposed to be a relentless enemy that chases you through this area until you finally get to the marker chamber. Then it just it leaves you alone. This fan that I'm facing currently is the only thing that can kill the Ubermorph through a glitch. If you knock the Ubermorph back with a force gun shot, you can knock it into the fan and kill it. 
but it is it's not meant to be killed that way so the game it, you knock it in there and the game kind of freaks out and it's like oh and it gets sucked in and then it dies but since there's no like animation for it you can't it's not you know you it just the model clips into a, a thing and that's the end of that get over this bridge, your health's not really going to matter. here is you can use the alt fire or the main fire on this javelin gun. I like to use the alt fire. And you can just like to use If you use the main fire you just you just shoot his head off. It's like boring. I like to I like to use the alt fire. Shouldn't have worn a cape. Yep. Thank you Isaac. Now time to die. What? what? Time for a battle of the minds! Yours is the last body you need to be reborn! The Makers must be absorbed! The Makers? You mean me? But Strauss said we could destroy the Marker! Not if we can shoot you first! God damn it, I trusted you! Fuck you! boss fight is don't let her get too close to you. She's a one hit kill. She's a one hit kill. If she gets too close to you, do not let her get too close to you. died. I didn't use my health fast enough. But here's the death animation for the pack. Damn. Hope that wasn't an important brain part. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, thanks, game. <laughs> thanks for the checkpoint.
baby. Did the thing. Yeah! I did it. I saved the royal. And now we're at the end. Dead Space 2. Yep. What a great game. Here we go. One last little flying section. Oh my god, we have a face. Indeed. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. A nice face that emotes. There we go. Man, what a fun time. And that last bit there was a little tie, little nod, wink and nod to the end of the first game. But yeah, Dead Space 2. Man, that was a fun time. I think I, coming back to it now after having not played it for a while, it might, I think it and Dead Space 1 are kind of at the same level for me. In terms of um, my favorite of the franchise. It's like, I still love the originals. All of my heart, soul, and mind. 
but this the sequel does so much with the formula and it adds so much to it and it makes it such a fun experience to go through um, so I'm glad I went back and played it all again you know without you know I, but it, it's it's still fun minus the the sound issues that I've that I've had um, it's still a good time it does make me wonder what playing this what playing the uh, playing this version of the disc on a series s or X is like because I'm playing this on an Xbox one X and if it's doing this with, with, you know, if it's doing this on this platform, I wonder what uh, an even more powerful system would do to the game. I'd be very curious to know. I wonder if it would just make it worse. It's a shame we didn't bring the Flammenwerfer with us. But we had Peng. Maybe the real Flammenwerfer was the Peng we made all along the way. Darn right. I don't know, maybe when I actually do play Dead Space on stream, um, maybe we'll, I'll do a run where I take the flamethrower with, because when I, when I play Dead Space 1, my, um, uh, my kit is always the same, it's always three guns, it's the plasma cutter, it's the plasma cutter, the ripper, and the contact beam, it's always those three guns. You can easily get through Dead Space 1 with just the Plasma Cutter. There's even an, uh, there's even an achievement for it. Um, but I always play with those three weapons. So maybe if I ever... If I play that game, I'll take the Flamethrower and I'll bring it with. And we can just keep it on the team for support. Um, but I, I don't think that'll be for a while. Um, I'm a little dead spaced out at the moment. But, yeah, this was a, this was a, a fun time. I don't think I can actually skip the, I can slow the credits down. I can make them go a little faster. Yeah, well... We'll speed the credits up just a little bit so we can get through it. Um, yeah, what a fun game. Um, and that, I guess, just leaves... Um, uh, the next game that we'll do. Which... I'm not sure what it'll be, honestly. This fun time I enjoy annoying you with a weapon I have zero care for. <laughs> yeah, I just really gave you ammo for that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, when it comes to the next game, I'm not entirely sure what um, what I have in mind. Um, I was thinking of doing Saints Row, Saints Row the Third. Um, but I've been playing that game, um, on my off time. Uh, just, I've been playing the remastered version on PS4. And, uh... That's been kind of my 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 fun time game outlet. Whenever I get time to just sit down and you know devote brain power to playing a video game, to what I've been playing. So it's like I, I don't really want to play that in my free time and then play it on stream as well. So um, I think I might I'll push Saints Row back a bit.
also, honestly, <laughs> and I was toying with, toying with this idea, the next game, stream, the next stream game, it might just be Tome again. Because I was, I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know, I... I could be down for, like, what that game provides for me in terms of entertainment value. It's like, I could just do the last hurrah for that on stream. It's like, you know what? I, I just might. So, it'll either be Tome or something else. A special shout out to the fatness, Christine for being patient, heart to the fans, DS2 team, love you all, and much love to my hubby and cat. I heart Usui, Takumi, and Sebastian Michaelis. Oh, I love the little emote out there. I know DS2 will do well, and we've only just begun. Ah, love my DS2 family members. Great job, everyone. It took DS1 too, but I finally have a girlfriend. <laughs> Michelle Powers for all the love and adventures. High-fiving fiance Megan for being awesome. Please don't kill me in my sleep. <laughs> Sorry, Tempest for putting up with me. Special thanks to Becky and Apollo Roosevelt. Special thanks to Mom, you awesome Jericho. Special thanks to my brain. <laughs> oh man. Wife Nancy and son Max. Thank you to those who are no longer with us. Thanks to my girlfriend for giving me my little boy. Aww. Thanks, Colleen. I'll be, I'd be your wingman any day. Thanks to my katana umbrella for protecting me. Thanks to the motherland for teaching me the Chinese tongue. Mom to be. Gravity surge carnality. I have Dinah and my kids, Ava, Seth, and Audrey. It's really worth all of 2010 BWH. Man, I, I love those. Think D, let's get married. <laughs> man. Shoutouts to that team, man. Thanks for making a great game. Stinger! It's a shame that they never made another game after this. Hmm. Oh well, we can always speculate what the future could have held. Um. <laughs> For real though, Dead Space Three is is mid. It's not bad, but it's it's kind of mid. It's it's not great. You must save your progress to unlock New Game Plus mode. Yep, and we'll just override this save. And maybe I'll come back to this when I finally do Hardcore. Who knows? I don't know if I did. <laughs> hardcore seems really far off, but I've never done it before. So maybe if I actually become a super popular streamer and like I get like affiliate or something like that, and I can actually make money off of this, I'll, I'd do a Hardcore stream. Um, but yeah. Um, whatever it is, I'll enjoy it. Yeah. Thanks to Shuttler for entertaining me as, well, as always. What is three? I can only count to two and a half. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's the same problem that Valve has with their game releases. Um, but yeah, the next game might be Tome, um, or maybe something else entirely. We'll just have to see what the what what the future holds. Um, but uh, yeah, might be Tome, might be something else. We'll see. Uh, but stream wise. There's plenty of opportunity to do like other things. It's like I haven't I haven't done an art stream in a bit, a while. At least an art stream where I felt motivated and, uh, you know, <laughs> motivated enough to actually want to make something. So, you know, there's a good possibility for that. So. I think that now is a good place to call it. That's a stream on the shorter side, but we've almost hit four hours, so that's pretty decent. It's wasn't like the first, like the first two uh, DS2 streams where we went for like six hours or something like that. <clears throat> um. So let's see. Let me see if who else is on. Cause I think a friend of mine was going to stream today. I don't know if they're still gonna do it. Um. Yeah, they don't, they're not on yet. Yeah, because I think... Yeah, because I think they were going to... Uh, with Barry Mont Blanc, I think she was going to stream at night. If she was going to do it at all. So, and it's still... Like, late afternoon. So, yeah. Maybe we'll do it next time. Maybe next time. But... Yeah, I think that's this will be a good place to leave it. I think so. Thank you for being here <laughs> to watch me have a mild panic and finish one of my favorite games of all time. Um, next stream will be Saturday, possibly. Um, about, about around the same time. It's like 12, 12 noon or like 12, uh, 2 p.m. PST. Somewhere around there. Um, what it'll be? I don't know. We'll just have to see. If there's a stream at all. Because, I don't know. I've been thinking about taking some taking a Saturday off at some point And just using that as a, a time. Uh... Uh, get some time off and just just relax, but we'll just have to see. A week, a lot can ha <clears throat> a lot can happen in a week. So, I've enjoyed my time here, traveler. Yeah, I'm glad. Now only dread for the nineteenth remains. What's happening on that day? Aside from it being the day before one of my family members' birthdays, which I'm pretty sure has nothing to do with you're, what you're dealing with. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is, this is the end. Uh, might be drawing next week. Um, it might be Tome. Uh, or it might be maybe just chatting. Who knows? Um, we're just going to have to see. Because that's basically how I plan all of this stuff out. So I just, I play it by, play it by ear. I mean, it's kind of related. Well, now we're putting the end off, and now I want to know what you're talking about. Related how? Now I want to know.
Oh, I guess another thing that we could do, and I was thinking about this as well, um, um, we could do, we could finally finish the Pokemon ranking that I was doing. We could probably finish that up as well. I won't save the VOD of that, though, because I don't have the VOD for the first part that we did. So, it would probably just be for the fun of it. And then I would save the results somewhere, and then just, you know, keep that on hand. Well, I grew older. I turned 20 redacted number. <gasps> it's your birthday! <laughs> Cue that, that one video where it's like the guy going... <gasps> Oh, and it, he just freaks out so much that it cuts out. But dang! Now that I now that I know that I, I gotta I gotta I gotta make a birthday present. I gotta I gotta I gotta do something. Well, that's a fun time. Hell yeah! It's a, it's a bummer we're not streaming on that day, but that's well, still cool. That's awesome. Hopefully when you hit that day, you have a you have a very pleasant and fun time. So, anyways, I'm dragging my feet now. I gotta... I was gonna end this like 10 minutes ago. Anyways. Thank you for being here with me. It was a blast to revisit this game. Next stream will be on Saturday. Um... Probably no stream on no extra stream on Friday. I haven't been really feeling it um, this coming week, or been, haven't really been feeling it. So we'll see how, what the week holds. But I'm pretty sure if I do stream, it'll be on Saturday, like uh, as per the usual. So um, that's gonna wrap us up. Thank again. Thank you for joining me. Had a wonderful time, and uh, hopefully. I'll see you somewhere out there in the multiverse. Take care. Have a good one. See you, Jeff. It's been a fun time. Hope your rest of your day is nice. Thank you. Bye-bye.